the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Mistake. Well, I'm Pete, the clergyman here is Mark the Businessman. We are Mark and Pete, and we're live on our show here. Uh, we've got something about there being a mistake in the Queen's Jubilee. What's all that about, Mark? This this is concerning. We're big fans of the Queen here. Well, we are very big fans, folks. Yes, it's the Queen's Jubilee, 70 years anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II and her reign. What a marvellous event. And in fact, she's already opened up this particular um, occasion at the Sandringham community. Well, what a wonderful day that is. But of course, unfortunately, that's not the real story. Now, for many people who are royal followers, such as ourselves, many people like to mark their occasion with something that they can save for posterity. Unfortunately, what's happened is she has been imperially impaired. A royal souvenir brings great cheer when adding to your collection, but you'll start to sneer as you peer and notice an imperfection. Yes, folks, what we've seen is a spelling mistake on thousands of pieces of Platinum Jubilee merchandising, which has now been calling it, instead of Platinum Jubilee, Platinum Jubilee. Yes, folks, who are perhaps <laughs> really... Fans of Only Fools and Horses, this is the classic Del Boy style pitching, <laughs> would Germany. probably say, was this deliberate or was it a mistake? Clergyman Pete, I ask you, have you been grabbing your pieces of memorabilia? Uh, no, I haven't as yet, but of course I will do. I mean, we're having big parties uh, up here on the Wirral to celebrate her jubilee. Yes, so we're looking forward to the um to the big uh party on the days off there and the churches you know uh, uh regular listeners will know i'm vicar of three churches up here in the northwest of england and uh we'll be getting together having a jolly good time celebrating um i don't know whether we'll have bubbly or jubbly i'm not sure about that but uh certainly it'd be good to have some memorabilia um my question is though to you mark i mean which should I buy? Should I go for the Platinum <laughs> yes. Jubilee or the Platinum Jubilee? Which is better? I, well, I'm, now I'm not sure, having seen it. Many people have said you should probably actually buy the one with the mistake, because usually yes. this is a limited edition. Now, what's actually happened, folks, is 10,000 pieces of Jubilee memorabilia has been produced in, in China and sent to be sold in the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, as we stated, it has the term, the platinum jubbly of Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah. Now, what is interesting, though, is, is that many people say that this souvenir stock with a slight typo mistake, I say slight, my goodness, <laughs> it is amusing. And when I first saw it, I thought, well, that surely is a deliberate pun um, playing on the idea of Del Boy, um, which, of course, yeah, is yeah. a character from an English um, sitcom. Only fools and horses, <clears throat> but apparently, you would say lovely jubbly, yes, lovely jubbly, meaning that it's a great thing to happen. Yeah, there you go. But um, <clears throat> some people say no. This is a, a bit of a blight of the Queen Elizabeth herself. I don't know what she thinks about it. I hope that she sees the funny side. But if you were actually buying something, I would suggest that maybe you should get hold of a set because it will be a rarity over I, time. Uh, Okay, now I've got a suggestion. You see, uh, oh. why don't we, we uh, with our listeners, club together and get a former company to produce these items of memorabilia for the Queen uh, with deliberate mistakes? Yes, uh, we could, for example, have that exact uh, that exact design, but have a picture of Freddie Mercury in the middle. Well, that would be a great. He's the lead thing. singer of Queen. <laughs> yes, of course, come on, come on, come exactly. On, come on. Yes. I like that idea, and I don't think anyone would notice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, that's one suggestion. Um, yes. Maybe even you? better, and here's yes. another idea uh, to Your Majesty, maybe if Her Majesty herself could actually do a performance <laughs> from Queen's Greatest Hits uh, at some ceremony, mm. and then that would I, be even better. I think what would totally make my day, this would be the perfect thing to happen, if we have the event. The Queen does a little speech saying, my husband and I... Uh, well, sorry, her husband has died. That's <laughs> a bad taste. Sorry, everyone. But <laughs> he says, I uh, uh, I uh, welcome to my... And instead of saying Platinum Jubilee, she says, 
platinum jubbly. In, you know, I'm doing obviously a very good impression of her. But, yes. Uh, <laughs> if she, the queen herself, referred to it as the platinum jubbly, uh, then, I mean, if possible, she would go up in my estimation. I think she's so high already that. Uh, yes. That well, if it were possible, point. she would. Here's the point, folks. So think about this. If you can get your hands on any of this set, some of the observers have said the whole fel- wholesale firm who's produced this is advertising the misprinted cups, mugs, and commemorative plates as a single lot to retailers, with the spokesman saying, quite rightly, there's a market for everything. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'd love to hear what the public think about this. Do they feel that this is just uh, an unfortunate mistake and that all of these items should be scrapped? Or maybe now they're, they're starting to... To raise in value but i don't really want to know is what else does the public think that we should have as yeah. great puns on the jubilee let us know in the comments below lovely jubilee